Howdy. No, I don't say howdy. This is another, oh shit. This is another trip story while driving by none other than Crazy Conino in the car on the way to get a haircut because I missed, no I didn't miss, my haircut was today on Tuesday but yesterday was Monday and I went to my haircut thinking it was Tuesday. So that's fortified proof that I'm fucking retarded and uh, a stoner. So, uh, let's get to it. This trip story is about 25 I Gnome. Done right in this pretty neighborhood that I'm driving in right now. This was my senior year, so not that long ago. Two tabs. I had gotten six tabs in the mail, and I... I was in the office and I seen my mom going to get the mail and I noticed the way that she looked at one of the letters was funny so I thought that it might be my letter so I had to go get that letter from her. So I accosted her basically and took that shit and ran and she knew something was up and she followed me and she was trying to watch me open it but I caught the six tabs in the corner and I just let them slip out of my hand and she didn't notice that I got them out. So I was just like oh it's an empty letter like I don't know what it is about. So that day, I took the two tabs at my house. Last time I had done two tabs, I uh, was stuck in my room all night, so I wanted to go on an adventure and go walking and shit. And uh, that I did. So I took the two tabs, I was laying out in my backyard waiting for it to hit, and what do you know, it hits me. And within probably like 45 minutes, and uh, I get that first body load, and I have to go throw up around the side of the house, but I keep the tabs in my gums, even though I threw up, so I can still feel it all. So I'm feeling it, feeling it. I go into my room for a little bit, and it starts to hit me. I start to get the visuals, the breathing, the mechanical visions of fractal geometry, such thing, just barely coming on a little bit. And uh, I realize I need to get out of here. So I slip on some jeans and a big ass coat with the fur hood and my biggest high tops I can find because I want to be ready because it's raining and cold out but I don't give a fuck so I put on that shit and I walk out and my sister has all these friends over and I'm tripping and I'm just stumbling around I decided I wanted to bring some weed with me so I have to go find a can in the backyard and get that shit so I'm getting all that shit and they can all tell that I'm fucked up but I'm just trying to act normal so I uh, leave the house and start walking down the road in the rain. One thing that's really fun to do on any hallucinogen period is just fucking go walking. It's extremely fun to see stuff go by and like see different landscapes and architecture and buildings and whatnot. Trips you out. So anyways, I go walking and I go down to the lake by my house because uh, we live by a lake. and. Uh, no one's down there, and I have this great view of the town, of the lake, and of the city and stuff. And uh, I, it's raining out, but uh, I'm in a I'm in a good head like head space. I guess I can try to describe the visuals at this point. Um, weird thing would be is there would be a light in the city like a far away, and I would look away, but the light would stay in my vision for like 20 seconds after, like it would just be burned there, just floating in my vision, and then that tripped me out. Um, I kept feeling like different, like I, I would feel like like an innocent little kid and then suddenly that would be smashed by this like headspace of like mean or something, you know? And then I would go back to feeling like funny or whatnot. At one point I felt like I was Lil Wayne because I was in a big coat with the hood, with the fur on it, which caused me to uh, think that I was Lil Wayne. So what happens next? What happens next? You're probably asking what happens next. It gets crazier. So the sun comes out of the clouds and it stops raining and I had just smoked a few bowls which changed how I tripped and the way I smoked bowls in the rain was I made it like a little cave with my coat and uh, I smoked, smoked weed and then the sun came out and when the sun came out it was just like jizz. Like I jizzed with the sun coming out or something and uh, felt like my life was complete or something like that. I felt like I was internally grateful for everything or something like that. So the sun comes out, 
then it starts going down because it's getting lighter. Everything is extremely visually pleasing, aesthetically rewarding. Everything just looks like it's out of a painting or a picture or something. It looks like the perfect view of everything that I'd have ever seen before. It was, it was awesome. And because of the weed, I felt really good. But hungry because I threw up way early and hadn't eaten shit all day. So here's hungry old me stumbling around by the lake in the rain. So as the sun starts to go down, I realize like shit starts to get sketched. My trip starts to change from good to bad. So uh, the sun starts to go down and anyone that's ever tripped knows that the darker it is, the more your mind fills in for you what's going on. Like I started to see funny shit. Like I started to get the idea that there was people around me and shit because I couldn't see in front of me clear enough. So this is where it gets real. There's a big field behind our house, a huge field that at night you can't see where you're going it's just dark like field that's huge and uh, I'd been in that field on a 2CI trip before that I'll probably talk about sometime but I was with a friend well I was alone this time and I was like I need to go into that field on this trip I, because it's it, like it will represent my mind or something like it was the mind field like I had to go in there and face my fears of whatever what I would see in the dark so uh I go up from the hill from the lake, I'm looking out at the city as the lights are coming, or as the sun's going down and it's getting dark, and still it's still in a good headspace before I go into the field. Uh, still the lights are burned into my eyes and shit, my 5-HTP, whatever, receptors are on fucking fly zone, whatever, dude, whatever. Anyways, I went into the field, and uh, even though it's a field with only weeds and bushes and shit, I swear I could see grapevines and like vineyards and shit. I felt like I was walking through this dark vineyard world. Then I seen little, you know those apes that connect their arms and shit like off Toy Story? I seen like leprechaun sized versions of those just running around like dark versions, shadowy versions. Just these apes hopping up and down. Just fucking doing shit like that in a field by myself, the minefield. So I'm in a vineyard ape field tripping out on that shit. And I need to get back to my house. So I'm walking behind all the houses to get back to mine. And the, my fucking dick neighbor sees me out there. And I kind of see him. And I'm sketched now because I'm sketched. He sees me. doesn't know who I am. He calls the cops on me. And I didn't know he had called the cops until this happened. So I'm walking in the field. I'm not going back to my house yet. I'm walking towards the school. And I turn around in the ape vineyard field. And I fucking see these lights off in the distance that look like an ATV with some lights on it, like, coming at me. And I'm like, oh, shit, like, there's someone in the field now with the lights. And the lights get closer and closer. And as they're getting closer, I'm like, I need to fucking hide. Like, they're coming to me. So I didn't know it was the cops yet. So I get down in this ditch in the field, and the lights pull up. And it's a cop car. And the cop car is driving fast, but it's like a scene out of a movie. Like, it's driving fast, and right when it passes me, it just goes in slow motion. And I can see police. And then it just keeps going by. And I'm like, oh, police? And I avoided them, but I got my fucking sweater, not my sweater, my big old coat dirty. So that pissed me off motherfucking a lot. Uh, so yeah, that happened. And after that happened, I was like, I don't know where to go now. So I went to this ghetto ass part of my town and I seen this group of people standing somewhere and I got all paranoid that they were going to jump me. So I uh, left there. Basically everywhere I was going, I was running into these problems and stuff. I couldn't get home. I couldn't do anything without being suspicious or something. So that's what happened. I was in a bad headspace in that regard, like after the sun went down. So I was, I was walking towards my house to finally get home. And on the street that I was on, there was cops just parked. So I'm walking and I see them parked and I'm like, I'm not doing anything, like even though I have weed in my pocket and I'm tripping balls, I'm like, I, I'm not doing shit, I'm not gonna get in trouble on it. There's nothing wrong. So I walked by the cops and they shine a flashlight at my face. And it's like, once they saw it was me and knew that I lived in that neighborhood, they left me alone. But for the moment that that flashlight was in my face, I thought it was fucked. So they just shine the flashlight in my face and then drove away. So this whole time tripping, visuals, the usual, I don't know how to explain visuals to you or whatnot. But here's what happens. I get back after I had just gone through that field, which was kind of like a journey for me, a head journey, a mind journey through my own soul and stuff, whatnot. I got back and signed into my Facebook and then went into my room and my sister's friends were all still there and I was trying to like just avoid them and act normal. And I couldn't sign into my Facebook when I got into my room on my phone, so I was completely convinced that someone had stole my Facebook password so I told my dad that he needs to go ask them for my Facebook password because I couldn't sign into my Facebook so even though I was just couldn't type in the right password and no one stole it 
So I was mind fucked into thinking that someone stole my password. This was after uh, the ape vineyards. I guess that, I mean, that, that was my trip. I mean, it's impossible to explain to you the visuals, but when I was looking out at the city, I saw buildings that weren't there that like figures of buildings and bridges that I know aren't real in our town. Like, um, yeah, and that night when I got home, uh, I was just watched TV and chilled, and TV is pretty cool on 25i because it's really wavy and watery, and it's almost like it's H2O or something. So, yeah, I mean, I don't really know what else to say about that trip. I want to keep these as short as possible, and I have to go get my hair cut. So, um, that was 25i gnome, two tabs in the gums. Lasted eight, nine hours. Made me throw up. Made me see monkeys and vineyards that weren't there in the dark. And it was great. Later. All done. Hit call. Hit call.